So in my previous video, somebody mentioned Duolingo Stories, which sounds like a pretty good idea, so I'm going to try it. Japanese. Already know some Japanese? Isha desu. <laughs> Come on, the wrong pronunciation should be Isha. If I wasn't looking at the app, I wouldn't have understood her because of the mispronunciation. <laughs> this doesn't sound like... I know this is an AI, but this doesn't sound very fluent. <laughs> His Japanese sounds broken. <laughs> Again, broken Japanese. Okay. Okay. Where is Duolingo story? Characters, shop. And of course, there's no story. Okay, that's it for today and see you... No, I, I, I think maybe I need to create a profile. So now I created an account and hopefully I have access to the stories. Oh, stories. Stories will appear here as you complete them. See, this is one of the things I hate about these apps. They won't let you skip lessons even if you already know Japanese. Ah, uh, I hate this when this happens. It doesn't even tell me, you know, how, what needs to be done to have access to the stories. Uh, this is very helpful. I need to Google. In order to unlock Duolingo stories, you need to reach checkpoint 1 or earn 10 crowns. Where is checkpoint 1? I don't know really... Uh, what are crowns? I have streak, lingot, no crowns. Maybe if I pass the most difficult level? Okay, unit 127. Let's go. And so... Okay. I created a table of contents. This is a weird sentence. I think in this situation we would say Listen and copy. It seems like Duolingo just translated the English sentence listen and repeat directly into Japanese, which doesn't always work because each language has its own way of saying things. Should be nanasai, no shichisai. No ji. It's toki no ji. Fruit o fuita. It's fuita, which means blue, I blue. And but she said fuita, which actually means she wiped. So the wrong pronunciation. His proposal will be a mistake in the f for the future of the company. Kare. Proposal? Shicho? Proposal is more like a suggestion, you know. O ayamaru mono da. Future. See, it could be mirai or shorai. I'm not sure. I need to guess what Duolingo wants. Mirai o ayamaru mono da. I think that's what Duolingo wants. Come on. Ah, okay. It wanted shorai instead of mirai, but. Future is also Mirai. I think if you learn Japanese with Duolingo, you will learn more about how to anticipate what Duolingo wants than actual Japanese. Did I pass? It looks like I unlocked it, the stories. Maybe I need to log out and log in again. Yes, stories, finally. So if you want to uh, check out Duolingo stories, just unlock one of the hardest levels. Everybody can do that. Let me try. Where are my keys? Where is 
it's really uh, I, it's really a good idea to learn basic grammar with stories because you have more context than learning grammar in isolation. So if they add more grammatical explanations, that will be even better. バイクの鍵が見つからない。They sound way more natural than the the main content. And unlike the main content of Duolingo, I think they actually use real life Japanese voice actors. So of course, it's much better. I haven't heard anything wrong so far, like mispronunciation and stuff. You don't have to cancel. You can just call the restaurant and tell them that you are late. Don't give up so easily. That's <laughs> good, okay. And the refrigerator. ケットを2枚ください。ジュニアは空港にいます。ジュニアはカウンターの女の人に話しかけます。どうしましたか？Why does she sound very surprised? ソウル行きのチケットが欲しいんですけど。えっと、お家の人はどこですか？ Ah, because uh, he's a kid. Um, okay, this phrase would be not very natural in real life, but this is fiction, so I would, uh, I guess it's fine. Eight years old. I don't think we would say that in real life. As a story that takes place in modern Japan, I would uh, I think it will be more helpful to actually write natural sounding Japanese than textbook Japanese. Uh, is much less frequent than ikemaska. So teaching you low frequency expressions instead of high frequency expressions is a very common problem with textbooks and apps like this. ジュニアのお父さんのエディがカウンターに走ってきます。ジュニア、やっと見つけたよ。空港で何をしているの？今日算数のテストがあるんだ。だから。it doesn't sound like a kid. <laughs> Kids wouldn't say Actually, neither do adults because in this kind of casual conversation, we are more likely to say or simply So it would be something like Nihon dete kanakya. And even in fiction like anime, I think most characters would say ikanakya unless they have that kind of personality that makes them use more formal expressions. Choose the option that means test. And so I hire Japanese writers to write uh, example sentences for me for uh, my paid courses. And it's extremely difficult to find a writer who can write like natural Japanese in real life like natural real life Japanese because people are not aware of how they speak exactly in real life. So what they do is they end up sounding 
unnatural sounding Japanese phrases, but it's much easier to find writers who can write like fictional phrases,、uh, phrases that can sound natural in fiction instead of real life. Because people are used to reading fiction written in fictional language than real life language. So, if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you real life grammar that real life Japanese people use with real life examples. So, click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. So, B is a girl. And this is a guy, right? バルセロナ行きの便に乗るんですが、飛行機の中で彼女の隣に座りたいんです。Oh, okay.、Uh, okay, okay. Same sex couple.、Uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> かしこまりました。隣り合った2席がございます。よかった。あの、お連れ様はどちらにいらっしゃいわからないんです。<laughs> Shouldn't she be doing that first before trying to find tickets for two? I don't think people would say that. Gaiken doesn't sound very natural in this context. I think in this context, we would use tokcho characteristics. Or, kakko, how they are dressed. So, 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 it's possible that, that some people use so, so, in、uh, sometimes in、uh, real life situations, but again, this is a low frequency expression in real life, so you could hear it, but we would generally just say, de kami ga kuroi desu. One of the most natural ways of saying this is actually, Se ga takakute kami ga kuroi desu. Kashikomarimashita. Sore ni, sports ga daisuki desu. Ano. Dobuts mo daisuki desu. Demo, unten chun ni, speed o dasugimas. And unten chun ni, speed o dasugimas. This is the kind of situation, if you have watched my Ndesu video, this is the kind of situation、uh, where we would use Ndesu. でも車を運転してるときスピード出しすぎるんですよね。ですよね。As a way of kind of like a complaining or expressing something you're not happy with. そうですか。お連れ様のお名前は何ですかあ、知りません。え彼女の名前をご存知ないんですか私にはまだ彼女がいないんです。私に。Oh, okay. This doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> so, this story is very interesting because, again,、uh, I hire people to write dialogues, natural dialogues for, for us. And one of the common problems is like some people try to make stories overly complicated because they want to come up with something unique. But they forget that it's for people who are learning Japanese. So, understanding Japanese is their priority. So, if you make the story, this is very unrealistic, convoluted, it's very distracting. And this story doesn't even make sense because you are still trying to figure out what the sentence means. So, if you make it even more complex, And something unexpected, it makes learning more difficult. So, when I write dialogues for you guys, I always make sure that it's something that would happen in real life. But even as a somewhat humorous story, I wouldn't say this is a well written story. It's just unnecessarily convoluted. Papa, Boku, a t a r a s video game of a h i t i o n a n d Oh, so Junior was Eddie's son. He doesn't sound like a kid. A more natural way of saying this is using iru to need. 
You can say something like, Atarashi game ga irundakedo. Atarashi game wa hitsuyo ja nai yo. So this guy, Eddie, he's always spoken broken Japanese in the main section. But in stories, all of a sudden, he's fluent. このゲームには、かっこいいロボットが出てくるんだ。こう。ジュニア、欲しいと必要は違うよ。ゲームは必要じゃないよ。ジュニアはゲームが欲しいんだよ。オッケー、ダメックセンス。わかった。僕、この